What's up, DNA gang? Y'all, another name. How y'all doing today? today, man? Today we got Mr. B seven days stranded in a cave. Couldn't do it. I'm claustrophobic. Couldn't do it. It depends how big the cave is. I couldn't do it. Wait, you ready? I'm ready. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Cue the intro. Yeah, yeah. Let me draw the boat, bitch. You know I wrecked the ship. I wrecked. Get it by the boat. Watch a nigga make it flip. I, make it flip. I ain't a little boat. Just one night to buy. Right, hit the subscribe button. And a notification bell so you don't miss another video. So Nate, I wrote channel below down in the description. We would originally get down there too. Now I see that they're dropping in there. That was gonna be one of my rules. I don't, I should I should be able just to walk out of that motherfucker. Nope. Not no, I gotta swim to the entrance or the exit, or I gotta be dropped in, I or mean, I gotta climb up. None of that. I've <laughs> seen too many movies None about people getting stuck in caves. I'm cool off right. that. I, just, I always told myself I will never go into a cave. Right. I don't care. I don't normally do intros like this, but I'm currently descending hundreds of feet into a cave. Absolutely not. Five kilometers deep into the earth. And he is small. Nope. Whether we like Absolutely not. not. As soon as my friends and I touch the ground. Absolutely we not. stranded here for the next seven days. That might have been the scariest thing I've ever you done. Think, first when they start picking y'all ass off one by one, I don't want to hear nothing. Okay? If it storms, this entire area of the coastline is going to fill up. No, see? See? Why do I feel like doing this? This can be deceiving. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Right? I can't speak for y'all because I'm black, but right? Y'all 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 like wilderness a lot, right? So <laughs> shit, most of the time when you see those movies, <laughs> what color are they? Right. <laughs> they not <laughs> See, I see somebody get stuck like that and he dies. So no. Looking for flat ground to set up camp. Right. Upon entering the mouth of the cave, we stumbled upon an area with high enough elevation to protect us from any flash flooding, meaning that it was perfect for camp. Perfect is a crazy word. Good enough is what I would use. What about the shit that lived in that said cave? That's why I said when they start picking them off one by one, I don't want to hear nothing. And you know, you motherfuckers be so worried about the big stuff. It be the small parasites where it's like, when you go to the doctor, you're like, man, what's wrong with me? They don't know. And then when you die, then fuck the parasite, you pop out your eyeball. Hmm. Should have stayed your ass out there. Right. As you can see by the footage, we spent around four hours. This is very hard to traverse. Getting all of it back up to our base camp. Not right. We've got some lights on in here. Our supplies are finally at our home base. And if you point the camera over there, you'll see it's pitch black. It took all day. And so, we set up the bare minimal for camping grounds. We drilled holes to hang up some ropes. Grab these. Pull yourself up. Looks like the ropes will be able to support hammocks. And with the help of our survival guide, Joel, we hung our hammocks. This thin rope is what holds up a hammock. Yep. Ate some dinner and prepared right. for a very cold night one. Now I go. When you get the hammock that's for three, 350 plus, <laughs> it'll be a little thick rope. It'll be a little right. thicker rope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think him is coming in one size fits all because no. every human ain't one size. Uh, way more comfortable than I thought it would be. <laughs> right. I ain't never had no hammock. <laughs> this part of the cave is two and a half kilometers deep, and we're basically camping at the entrance. Tomorrow, we have to a lot of explorers. I'm, 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 no. I'm not doing that. I wouldn't do it with a group of people. I wouldn't do it by myself. It's great, but that's how it always happens. You're going with a group, and there's only one person left at the end. Just let me get that one person. But even still, the water's dripping into our hands. I don't know, Let's make our shelter actually good. I say we connect these tarps so we stay dry while we're sleeping. That's literally genius. I'm not just a YouTuber, okay? My hammock gets out right here. Are you serious right now? This is where I just got out of bed. And we didn't realize it at the time, but this hole is almost 40 feet deep. So oh. Sean and I got started on the super tarp back if you to out there, how that dangerous did. this hole was for themselves. Do you see my hat up there? That is where I slept. Now look at this. And because everything looks the same, it's probably pretty hard to follow us in this cave. On this map, you can see our home base and how far they're moving away from us. No. It's, really it's too small. Oh, I would freak out. I'm good. I'm cool because... I've never been a turner or roller as a sleeper. I don't roll around in bed. I just know what I mean. It's like I don't roll to the other side. Like I might turn and I'm yeah. like, but I'm not a roller to where I'm a roll off the bed. Oh, no. That's what I I'm ain't saying. never rolled off the bed. Exactly. So I'm cool. That hole wouldn't mean nothing to me. <laughs> 
Me and Sean actually have to work you try, you, See how you try to say that I be lying? I don't be lying like that. I lie, but I don't lie, lie. <laughs> like, Why is there a sleeping bag? A little bit. Uh, it's I be like lying sometimes. <laughs> yeah, lesson number one, don't bring your sleeping bags. Why did we rent sleeping bags? Why did we not just buy sleeping bags? We're tying the tarps together to create one mega tarp. Don't mind me, just... Trusting this rope of my life. And meanwhile, Mac and Carl were still in a hole. Damn. Oh, that's no, too tight. no, no, no. Dude got stuck. And he got stuck upside down. I know y'all seen that story. We just want to show how dangerous Cam was. Just don't fall. There's a river issue. under there. Oh, okay. And even though they should have been on their way back, Carl and Mac insisted on seeing how deep they could go. Oh, this is a slide. This is so crazy. Oh, my God. You think you could make it through the river? Yeah. Yeah. Do these two know this river actually runs throughout the entire cave, which oh. means we'll be spending some time. They gonna leave out of it. They wasn't that one of my pet peeves, bro. Oh, God. Bro, oh, my God. bro, you telling me we gotta leave? I can't. I can't do it. Oh, we cooked. That's right. A new home. Am I right? Let's go. We now have a roof. Look at this. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, kind of crazy. Can we move the fire pit to this little cove we found? What do you think? It's warmer. It's cozy. These rocks right. trap the heat here and block the pee from the rocks above. It's not pee. What, what, what do I call it? I don't know. Maybe rain or something. It's, it's not rain. It's rock. Rock's pissing on them. Do you see clouds? No, you see rocks. It's rock's rain. pissing on them. Rock pee. Rock pee. Rock pee. Fine. All right. It's rock pee. And after a much drier night of sleep, we decided to have Joel, our survival expert, help us get all the way to the end of the cave. 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 Cave! 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 Yeah! Let's see how I'm deep in the cave we can make it. I would just stay there, though. I wonder what does that tunnel. Right. Or was that all just water work? You know? It could be into there, but I mean, the interesting part of the cave exploration is one second you're barely fitting through cracks in the rocks. Oh my god, there's a suicide. And then the next, you're in a massive chamber so big that in order to see it all, we had to do this. So then imagine if that backpack gets caught. I can actually see now. This is awesome. No. Well, look at how cool this is. What lives in there? Back. That's my word. We probably didn't use that the most effectively. Either way. And so we continued on. Joe is a really good handle up the tight head. And yeah, you can sort of swing a foot around onto this one. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Joel, the best caving guy. Three in a row, Sam. No one's died yet. All right, guys. This is where things get interesting. What? What is this? So from this point on, wet suits. We're going for a swim. Yesterday, Mac and Carl were joking about doing this. But the rest of this cave adventure takes place in a freezing room. Oh, my God. Nope. Being nope. wetsuits are the only way to not get hypothermia. Yeah. Why are we doing this? This is a once-in-a-lifetime yeah. experience. Oh, yeah, I don't know. What's in that water? What are you doing? So in order to get to the end of the cave, we have to hop in this river and fight the rapids through this tiny hole in the rock. I ain't doing none of that shit. No. No. Let me me. He would have kicked me off his team. I would have been gone day three and a half. Right. That's it. Ooh, okay. So imagine if he let go and he just started going. It's freezing cold water, dripping onto the rocks becomes incredibly hard. Nope. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Carl, let's go. Who's this? Who's this? As you can see, it rains in this cave. Right, I would so say that. So make it a chill spot for us to hang out in and not get wet. I wonder what it would look like if I wasn't here to build all this. Pretty sure they'd just be sleeping in a pile on a wet rock. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly where I'd be at. Right there. Right. Right. I ain't getting none of that. Uh, the worst part is, every inch we go this way, it's an inch we gotta go that way to get back to camp. Our next 
Oh, oh my God. God. It's rising. I disagree with the safety expert. I disagree. Well, we can't really disagree. It turns out we wasted way too much time filming and playing with flares to the point where we now have to restart and attempt this mission another day. Right. Yeah, that. No. What did you do over here? No. Hopefully nobody gets away. Right. I didn't even know he packed lights. Yeah, they're awesome, right? Sadly, we only made it twenty percent through the cave today. But mark my words, we will go the distance in a future day. That's not gonna happen. We might rest on day four and then on day five try to go all the way to the end of the cave and see what's there. Mm, day three was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. At least I got a miserable right. night in the cave. The next morning we only had one thing in mind. A hot shower would literally save my life right now. Oh, a showering would be awesome. I haven't showered in three four days. Hey, okay, showering. Bro, it changed a lot. You don't have a headache. You get in that shot and get out. Bro, you are ready. Like right. <laughs> I was dirty. <laughs> to reach the oh, 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 I was about to say, the, the place they're supposed to go is still, and they got to come all the way back out through the wall. Hey, that peanut butter hit. I ain't gonna say that. That peanut butter hit. This shows out earlier. This just got like 10 times more fun. Guys, for real, if you've never tried s'mores with Feastables, you're really missing it. Tomorrow, we're going to explore the entire cave. We'll see you guys. But then. that's because I don't think they really like the taste of Hershey like that. So we tried to see gotta be in a mood. I, I got to be in a mood for right, chocolate. Right, right. Okay. Prepare for tomorrow's journey to the end of the cave. We're about to embark on one of the most dangerous journeys of my life. Because of our experience from day three and focusing less on filming, we were able to make progress way faster. Right, just strap a GoPro on it, send it to your editor. Right. Another survival expert with us. This is where we had to stop on day three. How we doing? We're making last bit of time. Behind us is pitch black. Where do we go? That's the area that gets narrow. The current's strong. So we're going to use the walls and kind of climb our way along. Like that. Right, because top three ways to die for me, set on fire, drowning, or stabbing. Like, that, I feel like stabbing is just, I can't take it. I can fall from the sky. Cause once, I can't. Once I, because I'm going to pass out by the time I get to I the can't. ground. I'll be fucking, like, I don't feel like I pass out fast enough. And but that's, that's definitely and top that's, five. And that's going to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> I, the, I need to pass out like immediately as like, soon as I fall. But that's like top five. But I'm telling you, top three, I do not want to drown. Me neither. I'm terrified of it. We can get swept away by the strong current directly beneath us. Joe, what are we doing? Okay, it's a huge fan. And it's more of the fear of not knowing what that feels like. Right. Cause I'm like I'm I'm scared of that feeling. Like what the fuck right. does that yeah. feel like? Like you have swallowed water unexpectedly. Yeah, I'm cool, cool off of it. Shit make you want to cry. Exactly. I don't want to see that. Now what if his foot slips? 
Yeah. I think people train for that type of stuff. Right, he do, he, he, he does that stuff. Right. This ain't that scary for me. Right. Even though I crazy shit. The spiders on the face is crazy, but. No, we gotta keep going or we won't hit the end. That's Nate right there. I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> just too much. That wasn't too much for me. I don't give up all the time, though. Not all the time. But if you give her hypotheticals, she's gonna give up 100% of the time. Yeah, no. Like, it says, like, hey, in a zombie apocalypse, go ahead and kill me. Go ahead. You got it. Now you're gonna try. You got it. <laughs> You Check him out. Right. I'm trying to tell y'all, it'd be the small parasites that be getting y'all. This, this view, honestly, made that trek worth it. While making it to the Glowworms was definitely worth the trip, our journey was still not over. Right. We're gonna go all the way back, back to base camp. Good luck. It's almost day six. They're not back. And I'm exhausted. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep, though. I'm just worried with them being gone so long. The trip back to the base camp is just floating with the current. All right. Because you guys have already seen the trip, we're going to expedite the way back. But seriously, this whole journey took so long, we crossed into day six before reaching camp. Oh, they're going to sleep all day six. Right. Okay, day six. Day six, let's go. All we had energy to do was stop by the fire and finally eat some food. That was a very adventurous day. I'll see you guys tomorrow or later today. It is day six. You're going to sleep all day. <laughs> all day. Despite being physically obliterated from our excruciatingly long hike, no matter what I did, I was really struggling to fall asleep. That's what happens when you get overtired and you and you and stay you up too long. and you stay up past your your sleep meter. You, yeah, cause yeah. I hate that. I'd be like, man, I'm tired. And then she's like, oh, but you can't go to sleep. And I'd be like, okay, bet. And, and we I try to make ourselves stay up, and we bro. wait too long, and then I can't sleep. Yeah, that's what being overly tired does to you. Fuck that sleep schedule. I'm gonna sleep when I want to sleep. <laughs> spent seven days in solitary confinement, seven days buried alive, seven days on a raft, and I'm going to be honest, I think this is harder than all of those. You're constantly soggy and cold. Right. I just keep hitting my body on these hard rocks, and it hurts. That's the worst. 90% of the time, oh. this cave is miserable. But between me and you... Yeah. Because when you're in good company, 
So I tried to tell me. At least y'all have fun, but. They do look beautiful, though. Right here. Right, from here. From here. From here. From here. They sell them. We cannot leave until everything is picked up. And when I say everything, I mean everything. That's some bullshit. Y'all could have left that. You don't know who's going to go in that list. Right. Right. Leave it for the next person. Somebody might end up being stranded. Don't even, don't even think about stuff like that. Come on, bro. Because you know when on self checkout, I leave a quarter or two for the next person. They short something. Right. You might need a quarter. Right, that's gold. That's what's up. But yeah, no, I, I get what Dre's saying about having the friends and stuff, but I didn't see movies. They picked them off one by one. I'm cool. I don't want to be the last person by myself. Hey, bang. We'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace out. We out of boat. Watch a nigga make it flip. I, make it flip. I ain't a little boat, but I just want night the bitch.